The next animal that I want to make is this cat. I could make it either way, and I wanted to show you that a, a paper bag is a really nice brown color to use for your spots on that. But I'm going to make a full color one, and what I have here is our free Michigan City Laporte visitor's guide that are, you can pick up out someplace out at grocery stores around town or out at the mall. The visitor center is actually at Marquette Mall, but this is the animal that I want to make. And I went through and I pulled a bunch of different pages out and I'm looking at them just for their color and their texture. Blue with the dots. I could get some nice furry looking things, green there, and this was a really nice uh, bright color. Some painting there. But I'm going to use this, these two maps for my cat. And I'm just going to cut various parts. I'm going to need two templates. Now I could start with a circle template here. I also have a little bit smaller one. That looks about right. So I'm going to start with that circle template and I can trace around. And again, our cutting doesn't have to be exact. We just want to get about the right size. I'm going to just go ahead and cut And this needs to be sort of like a triangle, but look at this, it's almost perfect. I'm going to just cut the water and cut this down. And what's nice is it gives me I'm going to cut this down just a little bit more. We don't really need to copy exactly. I like the kind of gesture of this. It looks kind of like the cat's head is down. And now I need some ears. I have a couple more pieces here that I could use. Hmm, that's going to be a nice tail. Maybe we'll bring it down. No, we'll leave it up high. And this is going to be a cat with two different color ears. I'm going to use this blue for one ear. I guess I'll cut that down a little bit. And I'll use the mat for that one. So we're doing really well with our found paper here. Look at this. I've got the, um, the lakes here. This is the Lake of the Three Sisters, I believe, and I can make both of the eyes out of this. And cat eyes are kind of diamond shaped. So I'm going to go ahead and make these look like diamonds almost. Look at that. This was, see, we made something based on what we had in our house. We've been collecting things and look at that. Now I need a big nose. And we would be great to have mostly white and I've got some Beecher here still. So let's see if I can use this for the nose. That's a little bit big. 
kind of the mouth area, nose mouth area. And it looks kind of like a sad, I don't like that. This is going to be for the front face of the, the face area of the cat. And I need two, a couple triangles of color, which I still have some of my painted paper back here. Again, this is where you could pull out your construction paper. or your crayons and just color so this will be finished when I glue it all down and I am going to go ahead and use my either my wheat paste or my glue stick the glue stick will work on this kind of paper I'm using the edge of this blue um, that outlined the map for my colors here. And I could even make some paws down here. Look at that, how this letter, this letter, this lettering that says Michigan City works so nice for the paws. And I'm putting them upside down. All right, so there is my cat from Found Paper. And I'm going to add a nice tail here, big bushy tail. All right, and I'll glue that down. I think I want some more of those letters on there. That looks really neat. All right. Cool, that was really fun, and that was very creative, and I had not planned it at all. So very nice. Thank you for that nice map. Okay, so I finished gluing everything down on my cat. And I ended up using glue stick for this, which I had at home, but you could use Elmer's or wheat paste that you make. And I really like how the map became like the texture of the cat. So when I was looking for pictures to use for my cat um, in a magazine, I went with ones that were just a color and a texture rather than looking for actual pictures and I was able to make my cat using two templates I used the um, one of these lids for my head template and then I saw that the lake was already a line for me to follow templates are good if you need needs a little bit of help to figure out how to cut but you don't have to use a template if you don't want to but sometimes I find that kids make their pieces way too small their cat would be this big and this way you can kind of position how big you're going to make your head and go from there all right so have a fun time making your pieces of cut paper here are some really simple ones that you can do or we can you can get more complicated as i'll show next